Today I am going to talk about number bonds. Do you know what a number bonds? Number bonds are also often referred to as number pairs. They are simply the pairs of numbers that make up a given number. It also refers to the relationship between a number and the parts that combine to make it. The number bond concept is very simple. It is an important foundation for understanding how the numbers work. Let me show you an example. There are three circles. They are red, blue and green in color. There are three boys in the red circle and four girls in the blue circle. If all the girls and the boys are going to the green circle, how many boys and girls will there be in the green circle? The red and blue circles are referred to as parts. The green circle is referred to as the whole. 3 plus 4 equals 7. In the green circle, we should have 7 boys and girls. Let's look into another example. Again, we are using the same circles. There are 7 children in the green circle. If 5 of the children go to the red circle and the rest all go to the blue circle, how many children are there in the blue circle? The green circle is still referred to as a whole. The red and blue circles are referred to as parts. That is because the green circle has the total number of children for both the red and blue circles. Since 5 of the children are going to the red circle, the remaining of the children will be going to the blue circle, and there will be 7 minus 5 equals 2. Therefore, 2 children will be in the blue circle. Now, we are going to draw a number bond diagram. Similar to our previous examples, we draw three circles. Make any one of the circle as the whole. Let's make the top circle as the whole. Draw two lines to link the circle to the other two circles. Remember, the circle which represents the whole must link to all the other circles. It should not link to itself. The circles that represent the parts must link to the whole circle. They should not link to other circle, which also represent as the part. Let's us insert some value. Let's put 3 in one of the circles which is a part and 9 which is the whole. So what is the value of the other circle? That would be 9 minus 3 which equals 6. So the value is 6. Now look at the circle. Can you find out what is the value for the whole? Do you manage to get the correct answer? Now look at the circles. Can you find out what is the missing value for the part? Do you manage to get the correct answer? That's all. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel for more math videos.